Gemini 3 Pro has just been released and it's an absolute game changer for voice AI. You can now pretty much create instant voice agents within their platform in seconds. That's why in this video, I'm going to be showing you a step-by-step -step guide on how to create these voice AI agents in Google Studio AI. And then I'm going to be running you through what this means for voice AI agents and the future itself. And then we're going to be comparing it against some other well-known platforms in the space. If you don't already know me, my name is Ashton. I've been helping business owners implement voice AI systems to save them time, cut them costs and drive growth. And if you actually want to start learning and building voice AI quickly, I've got a free school community down below in the link description with tons of free resources around voice AI. So feel free to join that. It's completely for free if you want to get started learning these systems quickly. And without further ado, let's jump straight into Google Studio AI. And let's actually get to building these voice AI agents. Okay, so we can see from Google's blog post, they've introduced a new era of intelligence with Gemini 3. Now, I believe it's been quite a while since their latest release of their model, which was Gemini 2.5 Pro. And now that we have a brand new model from Google, which is going to be Gemini 3. But specifically in this video, we're going to be going over how to create voice agents inside Google AI Studio. So if we jump into Google AI Studio right here, essentially, this is just Google's platform to essentially vibe code different AI apps. You can vibe code different softwares. You can vibe code, um, you know, voice models. You can do a bunch of different things with this plain, simple language. So again, we are on Google AI Studio's home right here. I'm signed into my Google account. And what's really great about this is that we don't actually need to go ahead and you know, connect any API keys, connect any billing information because it's under all one account in Google. And that's what I really like about Google and what they're doing is that they're including their AI in the, their entire infrastructure. So, you know, we've got Gmail, Calendar, they're including AI within absolutely everything. So it's just been a really, really great change for Google as well. And they've also come out with Nano Banana Pro. But what, what we're going to be covering in this video is going to be specifically for voice AI. So if we come down to the build section right here, and we can actually go ahead and click start. Um, and at the moment, you can see that you can actually build apps within Gemini. And we can see they've got a bunch of different options. We've got a nano banana, nano banana powered app. We've got create conversational voice apps, which is what we're going to be getting into. And many images with VO, et cetera, using Google search data. And it's all done by, you know, a simple line of text right here, right? So we can just simply type in anything and um, Gemini 3 is going to build it for us, right? So what we're going to be using in this video is we're going to be using this conversational app thing right here. And we can see we've got a few different options. So again, we can customize the model. Um, we've got all the all their different models, Gemini 3 Pro Preview, uh, 2.5, 2.5 Flash. Of course, we're going to be using Gemini 3, which gives us the power to build these voice AI apps right here. Then we can also dictate it and then we can add in files as well. And then we can simply just go ahead and click this. Um, I believe it'll give us a different function. But yeah, I'm feeling lucky. It's essentially just a Google feature to ran randomly generate an app right there. But Essentially, all you can do is you can just type in the type of voice AI app you want right here. So I'm just going to be grabbing in a quick little um, a message to go ahead and paste it in. So as we can see, create a friendly and professional hotel receptionist assistant. Its job is going to greet callers, help them with bookings and answer any questions about rooms, prices, check-in times, amenities and local reservations right here. So if, as we can see, we'll just go ahead and click build and it's going to be showing us what it's going to be building. So as you can see, it'll be running right here. It'll probably take a few minutes. So I'm going to cut to where it's fully built the app. And then we can run through all the different features that we have inside this little dashboard, specifically for voice AI. Okay, so as we can see, it's been running for probably about a minute right here. And we can see the, all the different types of components that it's actually doing in the background. So if you're familiar with apps like Lovable, um, Base44, Replit, it's very, very similar, but it's just within Google's ecosystem right here. So we can see it's adding in all the HTMLs, um, TSX files, etc. And right here, we can see that it's actually gone ahead and built our app. And of course, we can actually go ahead and make changes to the UI right here. So this is going to be our front desk decision. Of course, it's all vibe coded right here. So if we come down to this section, let's say um, make the UI brighter. Um, we can just say like more white and blue. We go ahead and click enter in there. Um, Gemini 3 is actually going to be doing those changes in real time. So as you can see, it's gone ahead and thought for 23 seconds, it's added in all the components, and we can continue to prompt it using, you know, simple language and natural conversational language in here, and it'll go ahead and change everything. But what we're specifically going to be focusing on is the voice AI itself. So again, it's using Gemini 2.5 live API for native audio streaming right here. So let's actually go ahead and um, test this voice agent out, test how it sounds. Um, and then we're also going to go through making any changes to the voice, et cetera, and seeing how it's going to handle that. Welcome to the Grand Aurora Hotel. How can I assist you today? Hey, um, I just wanted to ask about some room prices for um, two bedrooms. We offer single and double 
rooms. Single rooms are $150, and double rooms are $250 per night. We also have a royal suite for $450 per night. Awesome. Um, what do you guys have for like amenities? Do you have the gym, pool, or? We have a rooftop pool and a fitness center located on the top floor of the hotel. Okay, awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, and what about, do you have like any buffets? Like how many different types of floors are there or? We serve breakfast in the garden atrium from 7 to 10 a.m. We do not have a buffet for lunch or dinner. Okay, awesome. So yeah, as you can see, um, it's actually quite responsive. So the latency is quite low for these voice agents because we're using Google's, um, you know, inbuilt all of their APIs and all of their LLMs and everything. Um, so we can see it actually is quite responsive and the voice does sound quite good. So that's just a quick little run through of how you can actually build these voice AI agents um, in these apps. Obviously it is a lot different to apps like retail. I do suggest using apps like retail or Vapi with a lot of your voice agent builds because they just give you more flexibility. They give you more control of your voice AI agents. And these are platforms dedicated to building voice AI agents as well. But Gemini is absolutely a great way to, you know, quickly, you know, create demos for clients, uh, quickly create these voice agents off the app store um, and, you know, vibe code everything as well to create them quite quickly. So we can see that's just a quick demo of everything. And of course, you can obviously go down and make any changes. You can say imp implement booking confirmations. You could do other, uh, you know, external API service requests. Um, but that's just a quick overview right here. Um, as we can see, we also have advanced settings. So we can actually change the system instructions. We can change the um, template from React, which is just a front end UI system um, as well. Um, and then we can come down here, we can see the code of everything. So we can actually see how it is um, building these agents right here and the background of everything within inside uh, the voice function, right? And then also a quick note up here is we can actually go ahead and deploy these apps as well. So we can deploy it on Google Cloud, right? We can deploy it on Google Cloud, which essentially means Google Cloud is an app service where we can, you know, deploy different apps, we can run different API services, et cetera. So you just actually go have to, um, you know, import your Google Cloud project and you can deploy it so people can actually access it live off your domain. So that's just a quick overview. Now, what does this really mean for voice AI? Now, as I said before, I would still recommend using platforms like Retail and Vapi because they give you full control of the agent and um, it's not as vibe coded. So you can actually go in, customize all the different settings, all the speech settings. You can give it a better prompt um, and you can do a lot better things with inside these dedicated voice AI platforms. But again, it just shows that AI is getting so good. And if you obviously do develop these systems, it makes it easier for us to um, develop these systems and just ship it to clients in general. So it just really shows where this space is going. Is this gonna make it easier and easier for us, easy and easier for us to deploy and build these systems and build these voice AI systems for clients if you are? So that's really where I think it is heading in this voice AI space. Um, and it's just going to become a lot easier for us to ship and build these systems for clients. And without further ado, if you do want to go ahead and actually learn, build, and implement these systems, I've got a completely free school AI community um, for voice AI, which you can go ahead and join. It's completely free. I've got a bunch of free resources. I've got over 1.5 thousand members in there, all learning voice AI and everything. Um, without further ado, I'll see you in the next video.